What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I hope everybody's safe and doing well during this crisis. So today we're taking a look at the lens hoods for the Fuji X100V. The Fuji X100V is a gorgeous camera. I wanted a hood that not only fit the aesthetics and material, but that also offered protection against the weather and potential impacts to the front element of the 23mm lens. After quite a bit of research, I stumbled on two models and I couldn't make up my mind, so I decided to pick them both to compare and review them for you guys. Those are the LHGX100 from a company called JJC and the LHX54B from Haugi which is a cheaper alternative to the official Square Hood 2 from the Square Hood Swedish brand. At the end of this video, I will tell you which one I decided to keep and was the best one for my needs. Let's take a look at the first hood from JJC. This hood has a circular vented design and is composed of two pieces, the threaded mount and the hood itself. The construction is top-notch, it's made out of metal, and its matte finish fits the aesthetics of my black edition of the Fuji X100V. The LH-X54B is very similar. It's also got a two-piece design, the threaded mount and the hood itself. The construction is very similar to the circular hood. I really like the etched finish on the threaded mount. It fits the finish of the focus ring of the X100V. At first, I wasn't sure of the square hood because I feared it would cause some heavy vignetting on my photos. But after watching some reviews and testing it myself, I can safely say that the opening is just wide enough for the 23mm lens to capture its whole field of view without any additional vignetting. As many of you know, this fifth iteration of the Fuji X100 series boasts a new sensor, an updated lens, and most of the body is weather sealed compared to the previous generation. However, the camera is not 100% weather sealed. In fact, this new lens protrudes out of its socket when focusing. This engineering limitation could cause water to get in if you go out and shoot during the rain. To get 100% weather sealing, you need to add a filter to protect the front element. Let's install the circular hood and see how it looks. First, you need to unscrew the original thread protector. Then, you can screw in the thread and mount. If you wish to use a filter, this is where you'll be installing it. This thread and mount is made for 49mm filters. Let's install the square hood and see how it looks. The installation is the same. There are two parts. You need to screw in the thread and mount first. This is where you will attach your filter. There's a red rubber gasket which helps sealing both parts and also lets you align the hood. This is a clever touch. If you're caught in the rain, water will most likely never touch the filter which is very well protected. That is, unless you point your camera up. I bought the X100V to use as my daily camera. I wanted something small and portable, but I knew I would have to compromise a little bit in order to keep it protected. The difference between both lens hoods is hardly noticeable. They're both about 24 millimeters. So by now you're probably wondering which one I decided to keep. Well, I went with the square hood. I really like the looks, it's vintage and it suits the camera perfectly. It's got that old Leica vibe. 
I really like the red gasket, which is gonna keep the water out and prevent it from leaking onto the filter and doing streaks. Finally, as someone who shoots with the OVF, I found that the JJC would cut out a little bit of the corner in the bottom right. So these are my personal reasons on why I went with the square hood. Honestly, you can't go wrong with these two, and it's simply a matter of which one you prefer the best. So if you found this review helpful, please consider subscribing. There's many more to come on my channel. Thanks, see you soon.